In a game of rugby, when an object is in motion such as a player or a ball, it is only when an uneven force is applied that causes the object to change its velocity. Here you can see that the rugby player is in motion and remains in motion until an uneven force is applied between him and the ground, causing a change in the player's velocity. Football players with more mass have more inertia and are harder to move off their path, hence why they generally have a larger build. This works when two teams go head to head in a scrum. With the combined mass of each team, the team with the greater mass will make more ground. Now let's relate the law of inertia to the gym. Let's for instance take a squat. When the bar is sitting in the rack, it is at rest because the force acting on the bar and the force acting on the rack is even. But when performing a squat, the mass of the bar applies a downwards force of which the squatter must counteract with their own upwards force, which is generated through the individual's muscular contraction. So in order for the individual to perform a successful squat, the force that they generate and apply to the bar must be more than the bar is applying to them.